your first alert forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chad Crilly. We were spoiled this weekend with comfortable conditions area wide. Temperatures were warm, yes, in the 90s, but dew point stayed on the tolerable side. And today has been another really nice day around the wiregrass. Here's a weather setup. There is a surface area of high pressure now over central Georgia. Notice the clockwise flow here, so that makes our winds generally out of the north and northeast when we have a setup like this. And that northeast breeze continues to pump in at least fairly dry air. Pretty active weather though as we head north across parts of the country. Check this out. Excessive heat warnings from Illinois into Iowa, parts of Minnesota as well in the pink severe thunderstorm watches as that heat builds strong to severe thunderstorms moving across parts of the upper Midwest. So that's where all the weather is along with the jet stream carrying any major storm systems keeping us dry for the foreseeable future. It is 94 degrees tonight at the Dothan Airport. There's that north northeast breeze at eight miles per hour. Humidity is down to 46% really comfortable level. Dew point is sitting right at 70, which as we know could be a whole lot worse this time of year. It is 90 degrees tonight in Enterprise, 92 in Geneva. We're at 91 right now in Florale, a little warmer in Andalusia at 94. Vernon is at 93 along the coastline, Panama City in the upper 80s. Destin also at 88 degrees this evening. So if you're heading out for a late dinner tonight, things look really nice. Temperatures will be in the upper 80s here for the next couple of hours. We'll drop back into the 70s past midnight under partly cloudy skies. And then as we get you going on your Tuesday morning out the door, temperatures near 74 degrees, a dry and pleasant start to the day. By tomorrow afternoon, you will notice the humidity is going to be maybe a little higher. It also temperatures climbing a few more degrees. With the added heat and humidity, there is a slight, we're saying 10% chance of a passing shower or thunderstorm on Tuesday afternoon. The majority of our wiregrass locations stay dry. Wednesday morning starts off warm, and then we'll kind of do that same forecast again on Wednesday afternoon with the possibility of a few afternoon showers or a rumble of thunder, though the coverage there about 10% once again. Bigger weather story is the big area of high pressure. We've been talking about this for about a week now. That's moving in. It's going to drive in the heat for Thursday and Friday. Temperature is likely going to be in the upper 90s in some cases closing in on 100 degrees. How about the long term as we head into September, particularly September 1st through the 5th? This map from the Climate Prediction Center and they're suggesting above normal temperatures will continue across the southeast. So summer is not breaking anytime soon. 97 on Thursday, upper 90s close to 100 again on Friday. By the weekend, that ridge of high pressure breaks down a little bit, so we'll lose a few degrees. Then Labor Day, your holiday is is looking warm. Temperatures in the mid 90s and a 30% chance of an afternoon shower or thunderstorm.